Jews to say there is no problem at our borders. This is imagining the uniform of a foreign country. We would swear we have been... Recognizes the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Kelly, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to talk about an issue that... Uh, in my lifetime, I always heard the saying, there's no problems in our family. There's just a lot of things we don't talk about. And what I'm talking about today is the fact that we have an incredible problem at our borders. Not just the southwestern border, by the way, but also our northern border. Now, if these people coming into our country were wearing the uniform of a foreign country, we would swear we have been invaded and overrun. And the other hard part of that would be, well, that's okay, though, because we will do everything we can to accommodate them while they're here. It doesn't matter if they came here illegally or illegally. We're America, and that's the things that we do. Now, Madam Speaker, I bring up this thing because I, I listened after telecast after telecast of uh, the current administration says, well, if the Congress would just do something to help us, we would jump on it, we would do everything we can. I'd like to remind the executive branch that we legislate, we make laws. We debate laws, we pass laws, and then it's the executive branch who's responsible for enforcing those laws. We have an administration that continues to say there is no problem at our borders. This is imaginary. We don't have a problem. But if it were up to me, I would do something about it. The CEO of America right now, these are the eight authorities that the president could put into effect, end catch and release, reinstate remain in Mexico, enter into the asylum co cooperation agreement, end parole abuses, detain inadmissible aliens, use expedited removal, rein in taxpayer-funded taxpayer -funded benefits for all illegal aliens, and issue a proclamation to suspend or restrict entry. Madam Speaker, you and I know because we face this every single day, the issues that face America today are America's issues. They do not simply rest in this body. We will do things according to what the laws are and what we structure. The executive branch must be held accountable for enforcing those laws. Now, we wonder what in the world happened at our southern border. He said, well, my goodness, the numbers were in the millions of people who've come in. One of the things we don't pay attention to is our northern border. Now, I bought a picture of this, and I know it's very hard to see, but in the whole world, the longest continuous border is our northern border. It's 5,500 miles and virtually unprotected because we don't have enough people to do it. At one stretch, over 500 miles, there's two border control agents responsible. That would be like driving from Philadelphia to Columbus, Ohio, and back again and saying, I didn't see one state policeman, I didn't see one law enforcement officer. I wonder where they are. Well, the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> we have people pouring in from all over the world, some of them for the right reasons, others for the wrong reasons, and for reasons that, in, the future will harm our country and harm our fellow citizens. When you start to talk about what's taken place and how if we ignore it, it doesn't exist, then we are in very serious trouble. This is not a Republican issue or a Democrat issue or a Libertarian issue. This is an American issue. If those of us who run for office and get elected and take an oath of office cannot follow that oath of office, <clears throat> then why are we here? Why are we here? Millions of people have poured across our border. Northern border alone. There's 564 encounters with a terrorist screening data set 
484 with the northern border. In financial year 2022, 82% of these encounters were at our northern border. In the first three months of 2024, 94% of the terrorist screening data suspects encounters were at our northern border. While we think we are so safe because of our history and what we have done in history that we can protect ourselves, the underlying effect is the, gentleman's time the is enemy expired. is not from without, it is from within. When we fail to follow, follow the laws the that are put into place expired. and we don't enforce them, then we are at fault. And I would just suggest to our fellow Americans, please forget about being woke. Please wake the hell up. We the are losing our country. Time's expired. Now, these are the eight, eight authorities that the president could put into effect and catch and then it's the executive branch who's responsible for enforcing. Speaker, you and I know because we face this every single day. The issues that face America today are America's issues. They do not simply rest to help us. We would jump on it. We would do everything we can.